Hey, I'm Jolt. Welcome to Visual PKM. As we dive into Rick Rubin's The Creative Act in Cohort 9 of the Visual Thinking Workshop, I've been reflecting on how my approach to creating visual book on a page summaries has evolved over the years. This video will give you a brief overview of my current process. First off, if you define productivity as reading many books quickly, my process is likely not for you. But if you enjoy immersing yourself in a book and spending six to eight weeks doing research, illustration, linking, thinking, and processing, then you might find my experiences useful. My approach has its roots in Tiago Forte's progressive summarization, but it's changed so much that it might be hard to see the similarities now. Tiago's method balances compression with maintaining context, aiming to create a short, searchable summary that still holds enough context to remind you of key points years later. It's a simple, iterative process that you can execute in short chunks over time, converting a full book into a meaningful mini-summary. Tiago defines five layers of summarization. First, highlight key points in the original full text and add short notes. Second, import your highlights and go through them, marking standout phrases. Third, review your highlights and bold the most critical words. Fourth, create a summary that encapsulates the book's core ideas. Finally, remix the content into a new format, like a blog post. However, I found Tiago's approach a bit too sequential and mechanical. Often by the time I engage with my book clippings and notes, they no longer resonate. Also, sitting and reading for hours can get monotonous. So I adopted a more iterative process inspired by How to Read a Paragraph by Richard Paul and Linda Elder and insights from Doug Neal from Verbal to Visual. I start by engaging with the book even before reading it by looking for an interview with the author. Listening to the interview and creating a mind map summary of the key points helps me understand the person behind the book. This transforms the text into more of a conversation and helps in mapping out the primary ideas, giving context to what I read. I capture my interview notes and map of the primary ideas on my idea integration board for the book. I then read the book chapter by chapter, importing my highlights and annotations into Obsidian after each section. Instead of dumping all my notes into a single file, I create a new file for each chapter or section. This segmentation makes the process more manageable and helps in maintaining context. It also helps with visualizing my links in Excalibrain since I have fewer, more targeted links per chapter. Before moving on with the book, I review my highlights and create illustrations for each section. My goal is to read and process in chunks, adding a single summary visual to each imported section. On one side of the note, I have my literature notes for the section, on the other, the visual summary. As I go through my chapter highlights, I connect those notes with other ideas in my vault using Nick Milo's Noma method and my ontology from Excoli Brain following Vicky Zhao's Idea Compass. Noma stands for note making and consists of four steps. First, be a think finder. Notice when you think, hmm, that's interesting. Second, be a link finder and ask yourself, this idea reminds me of? Then be an active thinker, spot the difference and note down similarities and differences. Finally, understand the importance, complete the sentence. It's important because... The NOMA method is supercharged by the idea compass. Based on your ontology for the links, the idea compass adds a spatial context to your connections in Excolibrain. 
To the north are the origins, the parent ideas. To the south are the next level ideas and examples. To the west are similar ideas. And to the east are ideas that oppose or supercharge the idea you're exploring. Once I finish reading the book, I end up with a collection of visuals. My final step is to compile these into a book on a page summary. This summary tells my story of the book, what was important to me, how I connected it to other notes, and how I'm applying it. For example, as I read the creative act, I can't help but notice how many of Rubin's concepts tie into my previous notes on creative processes, productivity, innovation, and even negotiation tactics and philosophy. My book on a page is similar to Tiago's mini-summary where remixing occurs by reusing visual elements from earlier illustrations, linking concepts through visuals. For instance, in my illustration for Breaking Sameness, I reused visuals from the periodic table of productivity and deep work, creating a cohesive and interconnected understanding of these concepts. With each book, my approach evolves and I know it will continue to do so. I like my current method because it keeps me in constant dialogue with the book. I get more connections to my existing notes and gain a deeper understanding of the author's ideas. It's a richer, more engaging way to interact with the material. On top of this, engaging with a community of like-minded people such as the Visual Thinking Workshop participants provides new perspectives and insights that enrich my understanding of the book. Each book adds to my evolving approach and I'm always excited to see how it develops. Reflecting on my journey, I can see how much I've learned and grown through this process. So if you're looking for a deeper, more meaningful way to engage with the books you read, give this method a try. It might take more time, but the insights and connections you'll gain are definitely worth it. And if you're interested in learning more about visual thinking with Excolidraw and Excolibrain in Obsidian, check out the Visual Thinking Workshop. It's a truly challenging and dense experience, but also very rewarding and fun. Cohort 10 starts at the end of August. I have an early bird offer if you register before the end of June. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to dive deeper into Visual BKM, check out the links in the description. See you next time.